Okay, Christine, this is your second video trail, and I think from what you've told me, you're on a 20-minute set time on this particular track, so good for you. Love to see Valiant starting to really get into some of these uh, older trails. Um, now, one of, the, one of the things we really want to start thinking about here is, uh, you know, a lot of the preparation that you do in the beginning of the track, and uh, I see that you took the... Uh, uh, so send inventory to heart. Uh, you're giving Valiant some time to check out the area to, before you get started, yet your equipment is all ready to go uh, and you're ready to rock. And this is important because you never know when the dog's going to pick up the track and if your equipment's not ready you can actually uh, demotivate the dog a little bit um, if you have to all of a sudden get all the equipment on and get things ready. So I love how your start uh, was uh, good to go. Um, you're ready and prepared and the track is uh, can start any time that, that you're ready to get going. Okay, so absolutely there, there's no hesitation here and you can see Valiant uh, already starting to pick up the odor using the missing member method um, and the track line is about to start here shortly. So you're off to a real good start here, uh, great body language, but things are about to change and it's going to happen right here. She looks back at you, gazes off into the distance, wags her tail a little bit and you get a sudden surge of speed. Uh, more than likely this is what we call a fire alert. It's a little puff of uh, scent on the wind that goes away and forces the dog to go back to the track again. Now interestingly enough, I think you get another good bigger puff of wind uh, and this causes Valiant to deviate from your track line and into the woods. So your behavior here isn't uh, quite the same. You've lost your consistent direction of travel, but obviously the dog is in odor. Plus she's moving pretty quickly and heads up. So all this tells me that this is air scent behavior and not track line. But the next big change is right here. She gazes off into the distance, definitely an air scent, and then watch what she does. She shoots back to your little dirt road and hits your track line right here. Okay, so that was all air scent based, and I think that we can see in your map here that that's what's happening. So really, really good work. She's tracking nicely, responding to air scent really, really well, and it just goes to show how dogs can seamlessly go back and forth from track to air scent, air scent to track. It's just what they do naturally. We don't want to force them or constrain them to something that we think they ought to be doing when we really have no idea where scent is. So you're doing a fantastic job of just being at the end of the lead and doing so very little other than just following. And that's what you need to do. Uh, as long as she's working and doing really, really well, we just need to let her do it how she wants to do it. Okay, so now we're getting another big change here. Look at this scorpion tail, how the tip of the tail went from just pointed up, now all of a sudden curving over the top of her back. Increased speed, dramatic increased speed, and a lot of bunny hopping here. So what she's gone to is uh, we had a, a far alert, brief little air scent, back to track, and now we're getting what we call a near alert. A near alert is where the dog is using a lot of air scent odor plus track odor to get in on the prey. And if we're talking about an officer safety situation, a dangerous felony track, we would have had to stop thinking or start thinking about stopping back where we first saw it. Now, of course, Valiant is new to this game, so we don't really have to worry about stopping her. As a matter of fact, we want to just continue the track and have a good, happy ending. Um, but we always want to pay attention to those air scents and those proximity alerts is, and from a law enforcement perspective or a combat tracking situation. Uh, if we don't pay attention to these alerts, this is where uh, we can get injured or killed. So really, really good work. I'm super proud of how she's doing. Your handling is fantastic too.
So right now we're going into um, a final alert. This is a danger close proximity alert. You're really, really close. Valiant knows it. Uh, she's working primarily on air scent, uh, doesn't know how to get in because more importantly, you probably don't have a scent cone, you just have a scent pool. So that's why you're getting all this circulating. So her only recourse is to either find the scent cone in or the track line in. And I think she's actually kind of doing a combination of both here. So really, really great work. Now, if this was a police case or a criminal case, we would have definitely had to stop at this point, uh, watch the dog and see if we can kind of triangulate the location of the subject from a distance. Good job. Good, job, little nice. Good girl. She wasn't she scared that time. On that left turn. Huh? She came in hard on that left turn. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, you know. Poop yourself.